Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of The Six Sexy. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below and like and comment on this video if you'd like to see more content. In today's video, I want to address a seriously important subject, especially in what's happening with the world at the moment and all the negative news that we're hearing. And that is about practicing positivity every day and basically raising your mindset to a point where you're above negativity. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now, I would like to address something before we go into today's topic, um, and that is my hair. So my hair is super big at the moment because I've sprayed it with hairspray and I need to wash it today. So it is a little bit thick and a little bit wild. So yes, if you're wondering why I'm sporting an Amy Winehouse dude, that is why. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So my first practice for practicing positivity and raising your mindset above negativity is very, like, it's a quote that I carry with me um, throughout every day and it gets me through every day, whether I'm working or I'm studying or I'm hanging out with my friends. And that is to not allow other people's actions, emotions, and thought processes to change how you view the world. Now, this is super, super important, especially for anyone that works in customer service or around people every day, because you will be dealing with all kinds of different people. You'll be dealing with people that are going through all sorts of life changes, pain, death, divorce, whatever it is. And of course that comes with it a lot of burden and a lot of pain. And I basically want to explain how you can have a wall up so that you can be kind to that person and, and help them in whatever way you can, but you're not going to be overwhelmed by the pain that they're experiencing. Now, this is particularly true for kind of like the narrative that I'm hearing around me at the moment in the world. And that is, um, I think people feel like, you know, obviously we're in a bit of a state of recession at the moment and, you know, there's, there's no jobs. And I'm hearing this constant rhetoric of, oh, you know, um, you've got to stay in a certain situation because, um, you know, there's no other opportunities out there and oh, you can't follow your dreams because dreams don't bring money and blah, blah, blah. And I kind of, I hear like this kind of talk on a daily basis and I really have to step back and remind myself that, well, no, that's not my reality. Like I'm still doing everything I can and putting all my power and my energy into doing things that I love and which are going to be fulfilling one day and really raise myself above that mentality. And yes, it's really, really hard. And some days those kind of thought processes and those kind of narratives do bring me down. But at the end of the day, I've come to a place in my life where I'm not pulled into everyone else's kind of negativity. And really, I think it stems from fear. Um, people are afraid to step out of their comfort zone and try something new and like maybe go for their dreams. And so I think, you know, constantly telling yourself over and over and over again that if you change something in your life that it's not going to go well or, you know, you're afraid of failure, you're basically reinforcing that failure is a bad thing or you're afraid of like a new job opportunity or a new project and that's basically reinforcing that negative mindset. So the way I overcome that is to constantly tell myself positive things and to listen to people that really, really inspire me on a daily basis. Now I'm going to give you the analogy of learning to drive. Imagine someone puts you in a car for the first time and asks you to park the car. You're not going to have any idea how to do that, right? So if that person gets in the car with you and shows you the methods and techniques to park your car, over time, you're going to adopt that and be able to do it like it's nothing. So that when you eventually get into your car alone one day, you won't need someone to show you how to park. You'll know exactly what to do. And it's the same with a positive mindset. If you listen to inspiring people on a daily basis and you listen to a different kind of uh, mindset and a different kind of thought process, you will begin to experience positivity that can only be felt in a kind of group situation. So what I mean by that is um, if there are not people in your life that directly inspire you, and I'm very fortunate in that I have friends that are extremely creative and are constantly, you know, striving um, to reach their full potential that I can look up to and, um, you know, are my mentor in a way. But I also uh, listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, so, for example, I listen to Jordan and Milena Sissiotti's podcast, As For Me In My House, and it's a Christian-based podcast that really speaks about, um, you know, gratitude and being grateful for the things that you have in your life. Uh, so I find like a lot of inspiration and a positivity from listening to that. 
And my other favourite podcast um, is uh, Jay Shetty. He is amazing. Like he's such a beacon of hope for anyone that is going through a tough period in their life. I think definitely elevating to your, yourself to a stage where you know you are. Your default reaction to life isn't to be negative about it, it's to be positive and you wake up every day and you think, yes, I am going to reach my dream, yes, I am going to reach my passion, instead of waking up and being like, I'm never going to get there, I'm always going to be stuck in this situation. Like, all you have to do is look back on your life five years ago and how different it is now because I especially know for me, five years ago I was not in a good mind space, I wasn't in a good career and so much has changed since then. So really with that kind of like with that kind of hindsight you've got to like tell yourself why would the future not be better so that is my first tip for increasing positivity um, and practicing it on a daily basis so my second tip for practicing positivity and raising your mindset above negative self-talk and other people's self-talk is to stop trying to fix everyone now this is um, <laughs> something that I have to tell myself on a daily basis because if you are a people pleaser or you consider yourself a very empathetic person, it can be very, very hard to break the cycle of trying to fix other people's problems or situations or anything. And what I mean by that is, you know, for example, at work, if someone was in a bad mood and, you know, they took that out on me, whether it was in the tone they spoke with or they were just being a bit blunt or a bit quiet, I would automatically assume that that was my fault and that is something that I am beginning to get very good at releasing and putting a wall up and when I say putting a wall up I don't mean you know closing and isolating myself emotionally but I mean protecting my you know my thoughts and my emotions so that I'm not being so influenced by the other person and also realizing that constantly feeling like you are the reason that someone is unhappy is super narcissistic and it's egotistical to think that you are in control of everyone and everything around you even to the point of the the people that are closest to you like say you know your mum or your dad or your, your husband or wife um, if they're upset for some reason or angry or they've had a bad day that is not your fault necessarily like if they've come home from work or they've gotten into an argument with someone or you know they've got bills piling up and they're a little bit short with you or they're you know struggling through something really hard you need to just stop and realize that sometimes it's enough just to listen to a person and this is something that I'm still learning how to do and something that um, I struggle with so much especially with my friends um, when my friends are going through something really really upsetting or tough or you know they're going through depression or anxiety it's really easy for me to sit there and feel like I need to fix them and fix their problems and go above and beyond but really sometimes that person just needs an ear they just need someone to listen to them and say I understand and I'm here for you and you know just talk to me just tell me what's going on and realize that you are not the reason that they are feeling that way and you don't have to try and control everything that is going on around you and you know in their life because the world is a chaotic place and you know in order for you to be positive and to practice groundedness in every day you need to be grounded in your own emotions and your own thoughts and feelings and that means not taking responsibility for other people's problems <laughs> but taking responsibility for your own. Thank you, Milo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> just like I can't fix the fact that he just meowed during my video. I just have to be okay with that. So that is my second tip for practicing positivity in everyday life. Stop trying to fix people. Full stop. And my third and final tip for practicing positivity in everyday life is to be kind. Like it doesn't take much to do the coffee run at work or, um, you know, compliment someone because you think their hairstyle looks nice or, you know, call your best friend and tell her that you love her. These are all acts of kindness that don't take anything um, except a little bit of, you know, effort and a little bit of kindness. And this is something that I really try and practice in everyday life is to be kind to everyone and anyone that I come across, whether it's someone I've never met before, it's a stranger that's, I don't know, struggling to hold a really heavy trolley in the shopping aisle if I can help them get some bread from the top shelf or you know like if it's my mum and she's having a really hard time to just say to her hey mum I'll cook you dinner tonight come over and we'll spend the night together and we'll just talk I try to spread kindness in every day because 
um, you know, like the actions that you can give to a person and the emotional time that you can give them is so much more valuable than you know, not doing anything at all, you know, like you don't know the impact that you will make on someone just by smiling at them. And, you know, like this is something you hear about a lot in customer service is, um, you know, customers don't necessarily smile all the time or they're going through something and that can have, have a really um, powerful impact on the person that's serving them. And where I'm coming from is, you know, try and leave your problems at the door when you go to work or you're going into a project or you're trying to be creative and really bring with you kindness and gratitude because the moment you start being kind and grateful for your life, that is when you experience true positivity, when you can really enhance your mindset, when you can really start to feel happy. And like the saying, fake it till you make it, has so much prevalence um, in my life because you know I could be in a really bad mood first thing in the morning and then I will literally train myself to be happy and I'd swear by the end of the day I'm in a better mood than when I woke up and that is really just by telling again reinforcing and telling myself those positive thoughts but also you know being grateful for the little things I mentioned in um, my morning routine I do keep a gratitude journal so that is really helpful in um, just bringing me back to the center and reminding me of all the things that I should be grateful in my life. Um, but also reflection as well is super important, reflecting that, you know, there are things that happen throughout the day that are amazing. And we're so intent on focusing on negative things that have happened that we forget to focus on the good stuff. So just be kind, give someone a compliment, make someone laugh, smile, celebrate their joys and their happinesses if someone has just had a baby or someone is really happy like celebrate that you know be invested in their life be invested in your own life be kind to yourself this is something that i am still learning every day and i struggle with most days is to be kind to myself and considerate and gentle but if you focus on these three things i guarantee you that you will slowly begin to feel more positive you won't be so affected by other people's negative self-talk and you'll be able to carry through your day gratitude and happiness and continue on your path to self-fulfillment so thank you so so much for joining me on another episode of the six sexy as i said in the beginning of this video if you liked this video please comment and like and until next time guys i'll see you in another video bye Oh, my God.